Okay, well, the last 24 hours has been very interesting with the Final Fantasy VII Remake or Rebirth that's coming out there. Uh, obviously, things are absolutely ridiculous where this game is going now. Hey, I got a bit to show here, so like the channel, subscribe to the channel before we go any further. Please do that. Just hit that button, subscribe now, because this is absolutely ridiculous at this point. Tifa's cowgirl outfit from the first Final Fantasy remake that came out on the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, and now on PC, has had a, a reversal of trend. They've censored an outfit that happened to show a little bit of cleavage. Now, honestly, this doesn't show anything. This shows absolutely nothing, but they've gone ahead and put in a, uh, a undershirt under it. Why? I don't know. Um, there are people suggesting that this was too sexualized because Tifa is supposed to be 15 years old. Absolutely ridiculous. It's a video game. Um, now, if that's the case and this is where they draw the line, Tifa's too sexualized, then how does this exist? Right? We're, we're diving back into Nexus mods at this point because they've turned around and someone went out there and actually made a uncensored version of it. They turned around and made, took, took it back. They said, okay, let's go back. This is an archive of the Nexus mods that was up there. So you can see some comments here as well. Maybe I'll shrink this down so we can read a little bit of them. This one's gonna be interesting for Nexus staff as uh, this is the case of a company self-censoring years after the fact, and no one had a problem until before it was just normal. Um, until very recently, and it was just normal content for everyone. The scene itself has never been as sexual. Now, it's kind of impossible to defend against the scene existing in the original form without being labeled as a certain type of person as the original has been twisted into something sexual somehow. Never was. It never was. Um, that being said, this is unedited game files 1002 that you can just play over, place over new ones and Nexus doesn't really let those types of mods stay uh, if, the, if they get reported. So it seems someone went out there and went and reported the mod, um, usually the type of thing that doesn't stay in the files. But now we know what kind of files it is. Um, you can easily defend it by mere pointing out that in real life, 15 year olds dress even more proactive than this. And they do. And like I've shown here, this exists. I have it blurred for a reason. These are the type of things that I don't generally go after when it comes to Nexus modding, but this is absolutely ridiculous. They cover up very, very minor um, cleavage but this is allowed to stay. Completely nude mod of Tifa. Where do you draw the line at censorship and why is Nexus mod towing the line of a corporation at this point? This is absolutely ridiculous and should be allowed. This, I see absolutely nothing wrong with this original scene for Tifa. The picture says it all. I'm sick of all of this. It's absolutely disgusting and ridiculous that they have gone to this point. If you see Tifa as a sexual object, there's something, something a little bit more that's striking odd there, but this is in no way is it this, is it this. Now, Tifa bro, the person that actually put it out there, they have made other mods of Tifa, so they obviously know what they're doing with Tifa and they know they know the model and so they could easily put something up like that which is what they did here and it's just a flashback files it's just a a, a video a movie in the game two years down the line they take away the swimsuit scene that you know we all absolutely enjoyed something that actually looked like it belonged in the game because they went to a beach and had swimming gear on it actually made sense, but no, no, you need, you need to censor a four year later censorship 
and then Nexus Mods needs to take it down. How do we how do we even spell this out more that the Nexus Mods is no longer about modding and more about submitting to the message and submitting to the corporation's will and determination? Absolutely ridiculous and honestly this mod should stay. Um, Square Enix should turn back the clock and go back to the original version here because there's no reason to do this unless they're looking for some sort of uh some sort of boost in the media but this gives uh, a lot of fear that they're going to continue doing this they're going to do this again to your games once you own the game like at what point does can someone turn around and create a class action lawsuit that's where i am on this right you buy this game you play the game in the original form and then four years down the line suddenly things change and they feel that they need to take out certain content they need to switch it we saw this with diablo where they drop the experience rate uh, a week after launch and then everyone flocked out of the game and that's going to be the same thing these types of things are never good for gaming this type of censorship is absolutely unheralded and is absolutely ridiculous and needs to stop what point is this and in nexus mods come on nexus what are you doing what are you doing removing these things like if you go to it you go pages not found right absolutely ridiculous um i can find this right here on google it's still cached on google so you can find it and you can see where it goes and when you link in when you click into it it says not found the mod you were looking for was not found but the archive here shows that it does exist and this mod is up on another mod server from my understanding i believe they had i think i saw the link somewhere at one point on mods fire or something like that um, so it's good to see that the mod is still going to exist, but it's absolutely ridiculous for Nexus to turn around and say, Hey, we're going to get rid of it. We're going to get rid of it. Um, you know, does this change how the, uh, so people are asking, does it change the very end credits? I don't know. And it sounds like it doesn't can't wait for uh, Nexus to ban this mod for no reason. People called it. People called it when it was created. Four years just decide to, to censor a cutscene model and dialogue. What a mess. That's exactly it. Like, why? Why would you even bother doing this? There was nothing wrong with these original pictures that I'm seeing. Absolutely nothing wrong. Unless there's some sort of random lore thing that happens in the second game. I don't see a, an absolute point to this at all. And Nexus Mods... This is this makes me not even want to touch Nexus mods next time I play Skyrim. Anyway, I'm your Project Canadian Phoenix Cinder Shadow. I'm signing off here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you again very soon.